The gentleman from Fairfax, Mr. Lamagna. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise for an introduction. The gentleman has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker and ladies and gentlemen of the House, we have visiting with us in the chamber this afternoon members of King of Kings Lutheran Church in Fairfax, Virginia. They've come down to uh, the Capitol with their pastor, a good friend of mine, uh, Mike Magwire, who the Speaker has introduced and uh, gave our opening prayer this morning. Uh, some things I'd like you to know about King of Kings Lutheran Church. They've recently celebrated their 40th anniversary, and among the many ways that they witness to God's love in Northern Virginia is through the operation of a preschool. Uh, they open their church for a week each winter to uh, house uh, homeless folk uh, in cooperation with other houses of worship. Uh, they maintain a, a shelter for uh, people who are victims of domestic violence. And Mr. Speaker, for the last 29 years, every month, uh, the good people of this church pack up sandwiches, uh, several hundred at a time, and have them delivered to uh, folks who have nothing to eat on the streets of Washington, D.C. They're seated in the back of the chamber. I'd like to ask them to stand with the hope that you will give them a warm house of delegates. Welcome. The members will rise and be led in prayer by the Reverend Dr. Michael J. Maguire, pastor of King of Kings Lutheran Church in Fairfax, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, which will be led by the gentleman from Colonial Heights, Mr. Cox. Please join me in prayer. Creator God, you have given us these United States and this Commonwealth of Virginia as our heritage. Make us always remember your generosity and constantly do your will. Make us who came from many nations with many different languages a united people. Defend our liberties and protect our land. O Holy One, bless those who hold office in this place, that they may do their work in a spirit of wisdom, kindness, and justice. Help them use their authority to serve faithfully and to promote the well-being of all your people, especially in this great state. In your powerful name we pray. Amen.